so hello students uh, i just want to discuss about one uh, one common method which is used for solving uh, polynomial equation which is having power more than 2 see generally if we have a power uh, of 2 if i have any polynomial equation for example a sorry for example uh, for example a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 I can solve this polynomial equation directly by minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Okay, either directly with the help of this formula, or uh, we know a method by which we can solve also by multiplying this c and a, and then by splitting this b. In that way, also we can solve. That is something which we are doing it from our um, school level, and uh, even which we are using it frequently in uh, in engineering also, right? But when it comes to power three, very rarely in few questions we will be having power three, power four, etc. Okay, so how to solve those types of questions? See, uh, the thing is, first you need to take what is that? First you need to take one root. One root you need to assume. There is no other choice for you. You have to assume one root, which means assume means it is not assumption. You have to do a trial and error method. Okay, you need to you need to go with trial and error method in order to find out one root for example let us consider this equation 2x cube plus 3x square minus 11x minus 6 is equal to 0 and uh, what you need to do uh, like this is power 3 so obviously we are going to get three roots for this right we are going to get three roots for this so out of this three root one root you need to find out one root is uh, one real root in fact okay so one real root need to be determined with the help of uh, what is that with the help of uh, uh, trial and error method what does it mean by trial and error method for example how how we need to proceed how we need to find out that one root simple see here you have constant 6 right try to find out this the constant term is 6 in different questions you might have a different constant term so here 6 is the constant term find out all the numbers which can divide the 6 we can have 1 we can have 2 we can have 3 we can have 6 so out of these four numbers like there is a possibility for one root to exist maybe it can be plus 1 or minus 1 plus 2 or minus 2 plus 3 or minus 3 plus 6 or minus 6 but there is a possibility for one root to exist out of the following four number which they given to us okay so what i can do first i will take x is equal to 1 and if i take x equal to 1 what is happening to this equation check 2 into 1 cube plus uh, 3 into 1 square minus 11 into 11 into 1 minus 6, which is equal to. So just find out this. This is 2. This is 5 minus 11, which is minus 6, and it is not equal to 0. So x equal to 1 is not our root. Check x equal to minus 1. 2 into minus 1 whole cube plus 3 into minus 1 whole square minus 11 uh, into minus 1 minus 6. Okay. So here, this is becoming minus two. This will become plus three. This will become plus eleven. This will become minus six. Now check it. Now also it is not equal to zero. Am I right? So now take x equal to two. So what happens if you take x equal to two into two to the power of three, plus three into two to the power of two, minus eleven into two minus six? And what is happening here? This is eight to sixteen, and uh, this is twelve. This is twenty-two. This is six. So this is minus twenty eight and this is plus twenty eight, so this becomes zero. So what does it mean? It means x is equal to two is one of the root. Okay, x equal to two is one of the root. Okay, so now x equal to two means like what I can do? I have to take that. Okay, x equal to two is my root, so I have to keep that x equal to two as one of your root. Okay. So now I am going to follow a method, a long division method. What you have to do, if x is equal to two is the root, then you need to take x minus two. See, make sure that you bring this to this side. So what happens? X minus two. Suppose if x is equal to minus two is the root, then bring this minus two to this side, then it will become x plus two. Okay. So x plus x plus, like in this case, in this example, x equal to two is our root. So x minus two you need to take x minus two. And then you need to, and then you need to divide our initial equation with this x minus two. A long division, not a normal division. Go with the long division. Yes. Yeah. So now, first, what I need to do? See, this is a simple method. X minus two. So here I have two x cube, right? So here I need two x cube. 
okay here i need 2x cube if i want 2x cube what this x has to be multiplied with i need to multiply it with 2x square am i right if i multiply x with 2x square i will get 2x cube what happens with minus 2 minus 2 into uh, 2x square it is minus 4x square so divide it so this will become 4x cube this will become minus sorry i'm very 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 sorry 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 see after forming this you need to subtract them i forgot to mention you after forming this equation you need to subtract them so plus sign will change to minus sign minus sign minus sign will change to plus sign okay and now uh, just a second now cancel now cancel it now cancel this 2x cube and 2x cube this becomes 7x square and what happens to this bring this minus 11x to the deno uh, to the bottom so it will become minus 11x now what you need to do you need to get you need to get um, 7x square here okay you need to get 7 you need to get 7x square here yeah if i want to get 7x square here what i should multiply with with this x with this x i need to multiply with plus 7x right so i need to multiply with plus 7x so 7x into x it will become 7x square and minus 2, okay, minus 2 into 7x is minus 14x. Now, subtract them both. If I say I need to subtract this, minus means it will change to plus, okay. So, this will get cancelled off. This will become plus 14x and this is uh, minus 11x. So, that becomes 3x. And now, bring this minus 6 also here. So, minus 6. Now, what you should do? So, here I have 3x. Here I have 3x. I need to make 3x here. I need to get 3x here. So, what I should multiply? Simply multiply with 3. Okay, simply multiply with 3. So, x into 3, it is 3x. Minus 2 into 3, it is minus 6. Now, subtract them. Okay, this will become negative. This will become positive. So, I can cancel this and I can cancel this and become 0. So, this is how you need to do the long division method. So, finally, what I have done? I have... I already got one root. x is equal to 2, which is nothing but x minus 2. And one more equation you could see. This is my one more equation. 2x square plus 7x plus 3. So, I reduced my third degree polynomial equation into one 1 degree equation, one 1 degree x minus 2 and another one was 2 degree. Okay. So, which will be equal to 0. Now, we can solve this, right? Now, we can solve. From this, what I can say? I can say that x minus 2 equal to 0. That is one root which we already know. x is equal to 2. One more was 2x square plus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0 and from this I can easily able to find out the other two roots. How can I find out the other two roots? From this, from this method, simply use this method, you will be getting the other two roots, okay. So, what I should do, how I did this question? Simple, you need to find out one root, there is no other choice for you. One root, that is, that also uh, real root, okay. One real root has to be determined by using trial and error method. Use trial and error method, find out one root. And once if you know that one root, uh, like how I did already, and what is the clue I given? Just with the help of the constant, okay. If you have the constant 6, try to find out all the multiples of that constant, or not multiples, all the term which can divide okay which can divide the 6 see 6 can be divided with the help of 1 6 can be divided with the help of 2 6 can be divided with the help of 3 6 can be divided with the help of 6 which means out of this 3 there is a huge possibility for one root to exist so put plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 plus 6 minus 6 and one one root most most probably one root you will be able to get and from that root follow the procedure which i explained to you if you want to watch the video again so that you will be able to know the procedure and from that procedure, what you can do? You can reduce the third degree polynomial into one, uh, one degree and another uh, two degree. Now, I can simply solve this one degree and also two degree separately. And then I can get all the three roots, whichever I want. Okay. That's it.